Hey guys, welcome back to another Colin Flamingo video. So on, on the internet there's always this joke that all starting YouTubers uh, get sponsored by VPNs. And since I'm not good enough to get sponsored, let's just create our own VPN. So in this video we're going to be using WireGuard, which is my favorite open source VPN. It's super fast and easy to install. So in this video we're going to be installing it in a Raspberry Pi. I'm doing it from my Windows machine SSHing in, just because this is where I have the recording software, but you could do it straight into the Raspberry Pi. So as you can see, I'm logged in here. Um, so this has to be done in super user. So we're super user now. So then we're gonna install uh, the kernel headers. So a lot of, this, uh, some of them might have all the essential stuff needed, but it's easier to just run this and make sure that we have all the, we need. Then we're gonna add these. And these ones are from the uh, from the WireGuard page. So uh, this might change, so I would recommend going to uh, this WireGuard side and make sure that like it's still the latest. Uh, and actually, I'm just gonna open it here real quick. So here we can see that like they have it for different distros. So this is a good site to go and check for how to install it in your specific distro in case you're not doing um, Pi. So now we have to do an update since we added new sources. Now we're gonna install this. I'll copy to in the wrong place. There we go. Now we're gonna add the Ubuntu key servers where uh, WireGuard is. Now we're gonna do another update. So now that we have set up all the prereqs, we're going to install WireGuard. Now that WireGuard is installed, we're going to enable the IP forwarding. And now we're going to reboot the machine, and I'll restart the video once it's rebooted. So after the reboot, we have to check that the IP forwarding worked. So we're going to run this command. And if you get a 1, it means that it works. So then again, we're going to become super user again. And now we're going to go to the WireGuard uh, folder. Then we're going to set the right permissions for the generate keys we're going to do. We're going to generate a peer and a server. The server key is going to be used for the server so the, the clients can authenticate to the server and the peers you have to put them in the server for it. Uh, you should generate this in the client devices unless it's a phone. If it's a phone you can do QR and code. I'll cover that in a different video. So in this one we're just going to create one in the server. We can assume it's going to be used for a phone. Uh, just so it's easier, but technically you should be creating each of the private keys on the machine so private keys are not traveling all over the place, and then transferring the public key for it. So we just generated the server uh, public key, uh, uh, key pair, sorry, and now we're going to do peer one, it's just basically a client's uh, certificate. Uh, as you can see, it's basically the same, it's just uh, the name of it. So now we have to cat each one of them and well we need the server public key, uh, private key sorry, since we're gonna need this for the config. So we're gonna copy this and put it somewhere where we're gonna use it soon. So I'm just gonna put it here on to the side. I'm actually gonna copy it into the template so I don't have to 
then do it again and then we're gonna do client our here on public as you can see we only need the public key from the peer so when you create that in other devices you only need to send the public keys so now we have to configure the wireguard uh, config so we're just gonna do a VI it can be any text editor wg0 So here I'm just going to copy uh, the one that I already have. So basically you have to have, you have interface, and then the address band that you can put, then the listening port. This is the listening port that you're going to be forwarding from your router. So make sure you add the IP forwarding for your router to this, to the IP of your Pi so we can be externally accessible. DNS, I'm just using the Cloudflare DNS. Um, and this is the private key, so this is the one that we copied earlier. And here you would paste your own private key. Um, and then we have the IP tables forwarding, post up and post down. If you're using, as, as the comment says, you should change this to either Ethernet or uh, LAN. Um, depending if you're using Wi-Fi or Ethernet. In this case, we're using Wi-Fi, so I'm just gonna change this to the right value. And then in here's where you add the peers. This is just a comment, but like in here, it could be like whatever, like mom's phone or whatever you're doing, uh, and then you Paste the public key, this is the one that we got. Obviously, this would be sent or whatever. And then here is like the first IP, then the next one it will be dot three, dot four, so on. And you just keep adding them at the bottom. So you just keep adding a new peer here, and like you would put the public key and a lot of IP addresses. Uh, but in this case, we're just doing one to get it started, and then we'll do the rest later. So now we're gonna save this. So now that we have saved this, we can run the following commands. So this one is going to make this run at the, whenever the Pi restarts, it's going to restart the service. Oh, sorry, it's going to start the WireGuard service. And then this one is going to lock it down that only root can access the WireGuard uh, files wherever we are right now. Since this has your private key, you should probably lock that down. And once the permissions are set, we, we're just going to run the wg quick up and the configuration value. And that creates, that starts the service. And we can always check the status doing this. As you can see, it shows like the public key and has a private key, it shows a port, and then it shows the peers that are allowed to connect. So in the next video, we're going to look at actually creating peers in Windows and Linux and actually connecting to the WireGuard service. So thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.